Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Reggae and welcome back to the Battle Cats Beginner's Guide. Today we're going to hopefully be taking on and finishing off and beating the crazed fish. And how are we going to do that? Well before I said that to actually be able to do it, we need 1600 user rank. Reason being that at that user rank you can upgrade your Bahamut to level 30. Why do you need that? Because it doesn't do enough damage to kill the crazed fish quickly enough at level 20. Whatever combination you use of units or strategy or items, you will get overrun with a level 20 Bahamut. Don't believe me? Well, watch this. I found out that to unlock this upgrade you physically do need to accept the 1600 user rank reward but it's all right to rifle through your user rank rewards now that leadership has been introduced because it's not going to recover your energy and waste it it's going to store that recovery of energy for whenever you need it because leadership is a great item so you accept the user rank reward by clicking on your puts and clicking yes user rank 1600 clear special cats can now be upgraded to level 30 use xp to upgrade so now if we go into the upgrade menu go to special cats and go to the end of them you'll be able to see that we now have unlocked upgrades for these units and we're going to use them straight away on Craze Bahamut Cat and waste absolutely no time getting it all the way to level 30. And now it's in a state where we'll be able to beat Crazed Fish with it. And why not, while you're at it and get some XP for it, upgrade your Valkyrie to level 30 as well. There'll come a time relatively soon when she ceases to be useful, but for now, she still has some value. So this is the Crazed Fish stage, Fish Hell Insane, and I will now show you the slot that I would advise you be using for it. So, as we've come to sort of expect in these kinds of levels, you're going to want to bring a lot of meat shielding. Both your basic units, ideally with a razor as well, but if you don't have a razor you can try it without. Samba Cat, which I'd expect that you should have by now, doesn't cost too much cat food. And then the first two Crazed units, which if you've been following this series, you will have got first. We don't need any other higgledy piggledy meat shields after that, five seems to be enough, but what you do need for this stage is a critical hitter. Now, most critical hitters are gacha units, units that come from rare cat capsules, but there was one no gacha one that we got from the Red Cyclone, and that is Major Space Cat, which is really rather good because it can stay at a range and do its critical hits from there. It doesn't do critical hits very often, but it does often enough to be able to beat the level, and that's really what you're looking for. However, that being said, if you've got any other critical hitters like Jurassic Cat, any kind of Uber that does critical hits, a super rare that does critical hits, anything like that. Anything except for Monaco would be useful to have in there as well as critical hit backup. And it probably goes without saying, but you should be upgrading it as far as you can. Mine's level 12 and that's actually served me fine, but if you have a level 21, ultimately that's just going to mean that there are fewer critical hits needed for you to kill the main boss, the super metal hippo. Then Dragon Cat. Dragon Cat really doesn't have that much of a specific purpose, but it just sort of stacks at a nice long range and does little hits to when a crazed fish might walk beyond the super metal hippo. The thing with the super metal hippo is, and any metal enemy, as we've said before, when you hit them without a critical hit, any attack does one damage, regardless of the attack. So it's a single shot, large amount of damage attack. So not great against a metal enemy, but if it happens to connect with a crazed fish, that might save you from a little bit of bother. Then Valkyrie Cat, which can be useful for clearing some of the peons in the level. If, however, you have Paris Cat, for example, that would be brilliant to put in to deal with all the peons. And actually, its range means that it can hit crazed fishes behind the super metal hippo which is really beneficial, but that's a gacha unit so we won't be using it. Equally, another gacha unit which might be useful for the start is Thief Cat, because that can get you more monies than it usually does when you kill an enemy, when you kill the enemies at the start, allowing you to start up the battle more easily and possibly go without using items. That's ultimately why I'm leaving a slot open so that you can put any form of useful unit in there. Equally, something damaging with an area of effect would be useful to put in, like Bahamut Cat, which is absolutely necessary here and absolutely necessary to have level 30. 
Best practice, I would personally recommend bringing a rich cat, that's going to make things easier for you. A cat CPU, that's going to make spamming easier for you, and you'll be able to reach a point in the battle where you just leave it be and it will beat the level for you. And Sniper the Cat is probably helpful. It may occasionally mean that your Bahama misses a shot, but it's unlikely because the Bahama is going to be shooting onto a group of crazed fishes instead of one enemy that might be dislodged by a Sniper the Cat. The Sniper the Cat's main job here is to knock back the Super Metal Hippo, which often bears down on your army and significantly reduce your chances of winning. So that, even though it's a metal enemy, the Sniper the Cat won't worry about that it'll still keep it at bay. So those are the things I would recommend, but if you don't have a cat CPU, I've tried it. If you're willing to spam five meat shields at a time, you'll be fine without it. I've done it without a sniper the cat. If you don't have that, that's fine as well. And here is a little bit of information on without rich cat. It is possible to beat this level without any items, as you can see here, but starting out without a rich cat is going to put you on the back foot for most of the battle. But in case you don't have a rich cat at hand when you want to be able to do this level, I will show you briefly how to start off the level without a rich cat. So at the start, there's absolutely no let up. You're gonna be met with crocos aplenty, and what you wanna do with them is just let them get to your base and chomp on them for a little bit so that you build up a huge mound of them. Then when you've got such a mound and being worried that the crazed fish is nearby, use Valkyrie cat to kill a load of them at the same time. That will then give you an opportunity to save up for Bahamut Cat. While you're saving for that, you'll want to use Meat Shields to protect the Valkyrie so the crazed fish doesn't get to you, and then just as soon as you can get the monies for Bahamut, bring that out, and then it will get rid of this crazed fish here. The thing is, though, after that, there is again no let-up, and it's going to be difficult for you to upgrade your worker cat easily enough. So if you have a rich cat, I'd recommend bringing it, because it will make things easier for you. At the start of the battle, you'll want to turn your CPU off and just wait for this mass of enemies to appear here. Then when they get closer, put out a few meat shields to try and group them all together into one. And then when there are a huge amount of them, spawn something like the Valkyrie for a huge area of effect that kills all of them. Then a little bit more meat shielding and you'll want to save up for your Bahama, which should be significantly easier with a rich cat on, making sure to meat shield at the same time, probably more than I have there, just to be safe. And then the crazed fish will be destroyed there. And from that point on, you want a little bit more meat shielding because now we're getting to the stage where there are more of the crazed fish. Don't go completely mad because you'll want to be saving monies at this point and the main boss will come out when you hit the base. So really, you'll want to be keeping the battle your side, otherwise it will be more overbearing than it needs to be at the start of the battle because you'll have a big boss to contend with. But when you have monies in five figures, it would probably make sense to just put the CPU on and that to be fair, if luck has it your way, will be it. You won't typically have to worry about monies too much, and that's because when Bahamut kills a clump of crazed fishes, your monies are pretty much going to get maxed again. There are some times where you become a little bit short on monies, and that would be if, for example, your Bahamut had missed a couple of shots, or like that, for example, hitting the Super Metal Hippo and not the crazed fishes, but ultimately you should be fine with monies, and as far as this is concerned, you can just go off and make yourself a cup of tea with your one critical hitter and Bahamut and just some things to support both of those units. That is the crazed fish complete. It would really be one of the easiest crazed stages if there wasn't that definite requirement to have a critical hitter and a level 30 Bahama, which is what has taken us so long to get to this point in the series. And there we go, after a series of critical hits, the Super Metal Hippo will be gone, and notwithstanding the few crazed fishes that you'll see after that, that will be it for the battle. The Super Metal Hippo really is the defining part of the battle in that if you spend too long fighting it, an assassin bear, a big black fast scary bear will come out and try and kill all your units. So if you feel like you've been going on for ages and you'll be able to see that through an enemy called Missime that comes out and says, too long, try harder next time or something like that. At that point, turn your CPU off and make sure you have your cat cannon ready. When the assassin bear comes out, fire that and that will kill the assassin bear because it has very little HP. But with a critical hitter like Major Space Cat, it should be very easy to do it before then. You only really need to be worried about that sort of thing if you don't have Major Space Cat, but only do have something, for example, like Island Cat, which has a 5% critical chance, so won't be killing the Super Metal Hippo 
in time to avoid the assassin bear. And there you go, after those crazed fishes are gone, that will really be it. Just on the base, destroying it, and then when it's done, you'll be gifted, as you'd expect, the crazed fish cat as a guaranteed reward, and 30 cat food and a leadership to fully recover your energy whenever you'd like. Now the crazed fish cat, when upgraded, which we can do now, to its second form, the crazed whale cat, is actually a very versatile and dependable unit. Not only is it quite cost effective at about 700 and something monies, it is a very tanky unit that you can go up to different, for example, wave units like a Kore with, and other strong enemy units that would sort of back back most of your units, the crazed whale can go forward and challenge, often being able to keep your army in a certain place by virtue of its tankiness. So this is definitely a useful one to get, and luckily not too difficult a one to get. So make sure you upgrade your crazed whale, that will definitely help you in your questing through event stages and the stories of legend. But in any case, that does it for getting the crazed fish. There really isn't actually that much to it. It should be relatively simple, but I'm not going to make any judgments on how difficult it will be for you. If you found it difficult, don't hesitate to ask me about things and ask me how you might improve or what's been going wrong. And hopefully I can give you some pointers and tips that will help you complete the level. Until I see you again on the beginner's guide then, that'll do it. So I'll bid you goodbye and I hope you enjoyed.